this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Corel Draw to engrave a name on a water bottle. So let's start off with a new page by clicking the plus sign here. And let's call it um, this water bottle. And don't worry about the size right now. I'd leave it RGB. The size on this one is set eight and a half by eleven. That's fine. Resolutions three hundred. That's fine. Let's hit OK. So I have a picture of this water bottle. I'm going to drag it in and show you what it looks like, and tell you how I set up my page size. So I measure this water bottle, and it's a seventeen ounce water bottle. It's eight from the very top of this metal right here to the very bottom of the pink plastic piece at the bottom or purple I guess it's 8.125 inches tall and I measure the circumference either with a tape measure that's a paper tape measure that can wrap around it or better yet is measure the diameter and get online and find you a circumference calculator and put the diameter in the calculator and it will tell you what the circumference is of this bottle. So when I, with those numbers, I got 8.125 tall. I want this dimension to be 8.125 as if the bottle was laying on its side like this right here. So I'm going to Click in here on the, on the side so nothing's highlighted. I'm going to tell my page I want from left to right, I want it 8.125 inches. And the circumference on this bottle measured out to be 8.33. So 8.33 and hit enter. So now you'll see that with this bottle laying on its side, it's going to be the height is right here and then the circumference is like you cut us cut this down the middle and just rolled it out flat and that's what this line here or this d dimensions here represents is the circumference so with that being so that done let's I like to put my origin right here at the zero zero level so let me zoom in just a little bit and let's grab just click and hold that button that little icon right there and you'll see the crosshairs they should snap into place if you have snap 2 on make sure you do guidelines objects and page is what I have and you'll see now that the coordinates from that top corner is 0 and 0 so X is 0 Y is 0 now I like to give it guidelines to where my print area will be so if you will see let me zoom in just to this part right here. You'll see this uh, top part we can't engrave on. So I want to make sure that I don't put any graphics above that line. So I'm going to go over here and, and let's get our pick tool back. Click and drag a guideline. And right now you can just set it wherever. Let's set it at zero right now. And I've measured from here to here is one inch so that's where I won't put my guideline so you see up here the guideline is the X equals 0, 0.0 so let's just highlight that type 1 hit enter and it moves it over to the one inch mark now I also want to put a guideline down here so I make sure I stay above this rim at the bottom I don't want to engrave on it or below it so let's grab another one bring it over and put it anywhere you want right now because I've measured it and it's 7.5 inches from this top edge to there. So we'll give it 7.5. And hit enter. That delineates what we can engrave on. But I also want to delineate about where I want the name. So right in here is about where I want the name. So let's put two more guidelines in there. Let's put this one in. And I determined that three inches down from... The very top ought to be pretty good, so I'll give that one three inches. Hit enter. 
and one more for the bottom of it. I want it to be about an inch tall or so, so I gave it four inches and hit enter. So now you can see these two guidelines is right about where I want my name to be. And I don't really want anything here or here. So now we want to put our name in there. Let's pick the text tool. Click here or anywhere. And I want artful to be my font. So I'm going to click here. And this is artful, artfully. And in this case, I'll change the points in a minute, but let's zoom in a little bit. And the name is Ophelia, O-F-E-L-I-A. And you hit the pick tool again. Now I said before I wanted it to be about an inch tall, so let's just bring it over here towards the middle. And let's make it an inch tall. Hit one right there and hit enter. And there it made it an inch tall. So then let's make it, let's move it to 90 degrees. This is how you rotate it. Select that, type in 90, hit enter. There it is. Now let's put it in the center by pressing the P button on the keyboard. That puts it in the very center. And now let's click on it and hold hold the shift button down and you'll see I can move it left and right and it stays on center so let's get it right in there where we want it pretty close and let go and there we are and that's really all there is to getting it ready on Corel draw so the next thing we'll be doing is sending it to the laser and I'll show you how to a trick with using some blue tape to see where the it's actually going to be engraved before we actually engrave it, and then we can send that to the customer to, for a uh, approval before we actually do the engraving. Okay, when you're making a bottle with a name on it, painters tape, blue painters tape, can be your friend. So in this bottle, for example, we think we want the name right in here and about so big. But until we do it, it's going to be hard to tell by just looking at it if that's going where we want it. So we can take blue painter's tape and tape around the area that we think we want to put the name. We can put it in the laser. Go ahead and mark with light power on the tape to see if that's exactly where we want it, if the size is correct. And then we can also send a picture of that to the customer before we actually do make the engraving. If they approve it, we'll peel the tape off, put it back in the laser, put it on full power, and engrave the name where we want it. That saves a lot of time and problems with doing things correctly.